Congressman Robert Garcia has made a new statement about the January 6 inmates in the D.C. jail. In light of Trump's praise of the J6 insurrectionists, his featuring them in a version of the national anthem, and him calling them hostages, I feel compelled to share my experience with the J6 prisoners since I'm one of the few members of Congress to spend time with them. Last year, I visited the D.C. jail on behalf of Oversight Dems to visit the January 6 prisoners. The visit was organized by Marjorie Taylor Greene and I and Representative Crockett were there to observe. The actions of our GOP colleagues inside the facility were shameful. Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene continue to tell lies about the conditions of the facility and saying that there was no insurrection on January 6th. The inmates that we saw were being treated fairly. They had 24-hour medical care, computer tablets, and access to communicate with family. Or, you know, people standing on a street corner outside, what have you. When we saw the inmates, my GOP colleagues rushed to them and treated them like celebrities rather than people who attacked our capital and our democracy. I saw Marjorie Taylor Greene all smiles and sharing stories with them. When one of them tried to shake my hand, I refused. It's clear these insurrectionists are being held in much better conditions than most black and brown inmates in prisons across the country. As we left the facility, the January 6th inmates started chanting, Let's go, Brandon. Now, Donald Trump is uplifting these traitors by including them in a new version of the national anthem. This is sick, disgusting, and all Americans should be rejecting these traitorous actions. These insurrectionists are not hostages. Don't let Donald Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene rewrite history. January 6th was a violent attack on our democracy. We must call out Trump and the MAGA Republicans who are actively working to divide us and cause enormous harm to country. We will fight back. And that is the end of the thread.